Надо капать. That's the giant town. That's amazing one. Yeah, I'm gonna do a review after that. Ooh, looks awesome. Yo, so that's right, I purchased the Ender 5 Pro and it is here. So it took quite some time to configure it, to set up, but hey, in the end this is just an Arduino, so things should be quite simple, right? Um, so yeah, it was quite fun. Um, again, I faced some interesting things during my first stages of printing. So for instance, um, like this is the calibration cube and out of the box I got it like that. So it's supposed to be a cube, but as you can see that the Z coordinate is a bit off because Y and X are a bit squished together. So after some of the configuration of the G code, um, I was able to fix the Z coordinate. So one of another examples, I was actually printing the fallout advice coin. If you remember from the game, there is either yes or there is a no. And you can see that after calibration, this is perfect. This is really perfect. Like you see that quality is simply amazing i'll try to zoom in just a bit so that you see it more yeah so if you can see yeah definitely there's it's it's a bit rough on the edges just because that's where um the support was so it was printed like that don't ask me why because I, this is the way i chose in the model but hey the quality is really good you can see that like it's almost like a hologram like that's beautiful and before that this is how it looks before the calibration yeah it's like because of the z index it's super slim and uh, on top yeah it just i mean you can see what's going on but it's just uncomparable like if you see this too yeah and this is the same material it's just different configuration so yeah and this one was printed horizontally that's why the surface is glossy and there is no another side and this one uh was printed basically vertically so you can see that it was layer by layer by layer so yeah and after this i was even more inspired and that's another thing i printed this is basically the one that I, i'm gonna zoom out a bit this is the one that i'm proudest about most so this is the basically lego uh skeleton and it was printed in multiple parts um i don't remember how long did it take but it's a bit bigger version because because of the resolution, I wanted to be able um, to just a bit zoom it out in the size. Um, so I don't think this is the height resolution. I have to double check. It's 1.12 millimeters, I guess. And I can do one, actually even maybe even two millimeters. I, again, I have to check. But yeah, basically I was able to connect it. You can still see there are many marks of a pre 3D printing. So yeah, I mean, it's not the best smoothest build, but yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah, so I was very impressed by that because uh, I didn't expect it's gonna print so well after the calibration. And um, coming to the next one is the trebuchet. So yeah, um, I was an avid Age of Empires uh, gamer and but one of the next things that i really wanted to print was something related to age of empires so this is how i found finally someone published the obg files for the trebuchet so this is basically an ancient catapult or oh, almost broke it um and yeah so as you can see i had to print multiple parts multiple colors i had to join them together but yeah you don't have to be a Sherlock Holmes to see that i glued up quite a few bits but hey it looks awesome so i'm pretty excited so um as this video is just an introduction for what i did so far with my ender 5 pro it is good it is really really good so uh for the 3d printing i'm quite amazed um i faced a couple of issues 
but then eventually I was able to resolve them like for instance the firmware went completely wrong and then I have to reflush Marlene and then I had to install the stock one and yeah and I had to basically I screwed up my heating bed and what I did is I just purchased the mirror from the IKEA and it's perfectly fine so I'm gonna explain after that a bit more but yeah here's an introduction so congratulate me I got a 3d printer yay see you next time